I didn't know how to spell my name until I was in like year 10. And Pietro had told like schools that it was spelled L-I-L-L-I-A-N-N-A. So that's how it was written on the register. So that's how I would write my name up until year 10. And I came into school and I was like, please start just calling me Lily because it's so much simpler. And um, L-I-L-I-A-N-A. So we've got me, my brother, um, brother's 20 now. Um, Rosie is 17 and Angelica is 11. So your dad's name is? Pietro, Pietro, Pietro. Rossi. Well, this is mum and Pietro back in the day. Um, yeah, they're both very good looking people. He was back then at least. Um, stunning. <laughs> Pretty. They're in Italy, holding Christian. Like just after, like me was when Chris, was when Pietro started being weird again. Um, yeah, that's them getting off. That's lovely enough. Said she had such a like struggled and troubled relationship with everything he had like done to you and made you do. Would you say that you you did love him as a father? No, he was um a bastard. We he would steal things all the time. He would lie all the time. He'd fight all the time. He constantly demanded respect despite everything that he'd like do. Like when we did have good times, we'd just be stealing from the shop and you know never had any good times with him by that. Like forgiving the things that he's done because he was um like addicted to heroin and whatever, but like it, because I've grown up with him, like I've just I've hated him for it. Like that was his choice, you know. Like he had a loving family and whatever, and he constantly like, made things about himself. He was an absolute drama queen. Um, yeah, like it just, you know, as I said, forgave him for things that he did because I don't think like mentally he could help it. Um, he eventually went back to Italy because like he'd run out of money here, like and he was like in fucking loads of debt and whatever. There was a good was it like two years that we were getting Domino's for Christmas. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then the next day mum would make Christmas dinner because we wanted just to kick back on Christmas. Then she'd the next day just make an abundance of Christmas. Because Rosie always just wants food, like big pizza. I'm like, <sighs> so my dad passed away in 2014 on Christmas Eve. We'd been told like he was on his deathbed for like two weeks. We didn't know like, how long he had left, but I refused to speak to him because we just ha weren't we didn't have a good relationship. And Rosie had spoken to him. Angelica spoke to him and Christian had spoken to him, but this was just on the phone um, because obviously he was in Italy, so we couldn't see him. Um, not that we wanted to, because before that we were trying to kick him out of the house anyway. 